okay so this is the part two so once we have done the installation now let me now let me just show you very quick how the further steps will be so let's go ahead um so here is the uh, let's go to the code so right now uh, what i am doing is i'm currently making a div with the maximum width and the full height viewport so we will be covering uh, this whole area okay so first thing is first what you have to do is uh once you've done uh once you have imported your react now it's time to import a uh, react flow and the same time make sure that you have import uh imported the basic or the base style of the react flow so once we are done now let's go ahead uh now let's work on this so right now we will be working on uh, the nodes and the edges and we will be try to create a simple workflow very uh, rudimentary uh, workflow and now let's see how it will be so uh, let's go ahead now let's import a react flow here that's it so once we have done in the react flow here it needs two important props to work on so now let me just show you very quick so if you see here uh, if I remove you can see react flow is loaded if you see this so it means that it's ready and it's working okay so now I'm just going to the code so first is the uh, default nodes default edges uh, we can just give it uh, initial edge which we have created here so this will be an array of edges uh, and then there are default uh, nodes which will be initial nodes now two things important is here uh, you can use the default edges or you, or you or you can use directly edges and same goes for the nodes you can directly use nodes instead of using this okay so once you're done with this now let me just create a node first so as i said nodes are of three types okay so i'm just create this uh, three types of nodes for you okay uh i don't know what happened okay yeah so so the first node uh so to create a node we first need to define an id and uh, then we will give it a, a label okay so we have to provide a data and then this label will be uh, what do we call it as input node okay so the type here will be input okay so if sometimes it doesn't show up here okay so it's quite bad you know so you have to reload it um, anyways so position then next we have to provide it so position uh, contains an x coordinate and an y coordinate so as you can see the input node is there okay so this is the input node so now let's go ahead and create the another node so this will be have an id2 and let's give it an id of label as output node so just make sure you are uh, understanding so the input node if i hover this it has only one uh, handle so this is the input node which uh, like which we are talking right now and now i will create an uh, output node so let's see how the output node is and i will just create it uh, with a slight uh, exposition y position and now let's reload it so here we go so so the input node can so now if we try to you know connect it it's connecting so the input node can connect to the output node okay but if you try retry you can't do the same vice versa okay you can <laughs> okay i'm wrong with this you can but it's always uh the bottom one connects to the top one and the top one connects to the bottom one so this is always there so the third type of node which we are going to talk about is the default one which in which you don't actually have to give any 
what I say, uh, any type, like even if you remove this, it will come up, and this way we will rename it as a default, or even or we can give it as a type, also of default. Okay, and now let's see. So the default node has both the points the input and the output it has both so now let's try see what i was trying to say is this will not connect but this the top will always connect to the bottom one so this is what i wanted to say but right now we are connecting the edges by our own so let's see if you want to provide edge by your own okay uh, like initially while loading it so you can just go ahead and provide an edge so edge also has an id so how we name it is let's say edge e one is connecting to two so one is connecting to two so one input node is connecting to two so how we define it is as the source here is one and the target id is sorry target id is two so now if I reload it, it will automatically connect. Okay. Now one more thing I to want to talk about is uh, the multi multi. Uh, there were more thing is let's say if you want to change the step. Uh, no 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 wait a minute. I think I'm missing. So if you want, uh, there's something called uh, type. I think I've already added. Uh, just give me a minute okay so sorry so the step is uh, uh, what I wanted to talk about so let's say right now what you're seeing is a default one so if you want to change so it also has that type so if you want to go change the edge you can have it as the step so right now if I now you can see what I mean by step okay so um, here also you can add the label so you don't have to provide a separate data JSON uh, you can directly find provide it here and uh, you can now uh, miss one two one two two it will automatically uh, shown up here so if I reload it so now you can see that it will automatically come up so this is how we are connecting this uh, initially one uh, the nodes and the edges and uh, one more thing which I want to talk about is the groups okay so uh, how we create the groups no group node is uh, first i wanted to let you know what group node is so in uh, here is the very nice example so right now we are connecting node to node so okay so let's say if you have a group which you want to connect to multiple nodes so then this is a good example so i, I will not recreate it but uh, i'll just show you how it works like so you create a another node okay so let's say we create a node 4 okay now the other nodes which you create uh, the, like uh, id can be a 4142 whatever but here you have to provide the parent node okay so the parent node is for both of them is a so ch child one child two so both the child one and child two has the uh, what i say the group of a okay so now uh, a, so now if you can see this are a group and now when i say group you can revolve all the childs inside it together so the a which you are seeing the this box this box which you are seeing which has a width of 140 and 170 which we have resized okay so this is the group a which has the two childs a and b so when you revolve you can drag all the childs inside it together so this was the concept of uh, groups in the node so yeah i think i've covered all of the uh, all of the things about uh, the nodes and this so yeah now in the next video we'll be talking about the uh what i say multiple uh predefined recipes or components which react flow provides so catch you in the next video